Only one Team Star base remains. It is a fairy type, which I have a fairy type as my lead, but then with having the dark type move with Quabody, then I feel like I should I should breeze through this uh, fairly easily here. My name is Brian Saviano, Brix O'Brien. Thank you for joining me. Who are these people? Harrington. Uh, since you are unaware, I must inform you that this is a base of Team Star. Yes, I'm very fully aware. I don't think we're supposed to be giving out that information. That's exactly what you just did. Um, this is the last of the bases, and I believe there's going to be a boss, because that's what it's been uh, talking about this entire time, having all these team members and the big boss that's commanding everybody. It's a whole big thing here. So, uh, oh, against Harrington. Okay. Definitely not Steve Harrington at all. Morgan. Okay. Look at this hammer blocking out the character models once again. Look, it's not even me. It's just blocking them. Knock it off, huh? Ooh, using a nasty plot on me here. I see. Okay. What is the level advantage situation? That's actually not effective at all. Whoops. I don't know what typing I should use. Level 48? Okay. That's fine. Well, I'll figure it out anyways. But, you know, having enough to work with is always important. Oh, ghost type, right? Oh, steel type. Oh. That might be useful. That might be very useful. Okay. Hatram? Yes, I'm gonna switch to Kabunga. So off camera, I taught Kabunga Shadow Ball. That was a TM that I had looming in the background. So I wanted to use it, teach Kabunga a ghost type move. Again, it's kind of impressive that Kabunga didn't learn like a Shadow Ball uh, inherently so throughout the levelings. Unless I missed it, which I definitely could have, but kind of surprising in general. Uh, Shadow Ball, let's go. Yeah, right? Super effective, hopefully. Look at that lag. Yeah, it's super effective, nice. It's because of all the blades of grass and Nintendo Switch can't process. All those blades of grass, it's running at twice the speed, yeah. Awesome. Ace Trader Har Harrington's down, it's so bad. Such a quality title, you know what I mean, man? It's excellent. Uh, an outstanding performance. Be aware, careful that Master Ortega's blah, 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 blah. Hasta la vista. Get it? Because hasta la vista? Yeah. 30 more Pokemon. Going to be defeated immediately here. And you're going to fade into the background there. No character animation whatsoever. I see the guard's been dealt with. Good job. You're welcome. Good job. Good job. That's uh, the, the battle skills there. Yes. Okay, in terms of tactics, there's next, nothing else for it but to take down all the lackeys he sends your way. Yep. More than willing to do that situation there. All right. Let me see the first three Pokemon of my party. Yes. I kind of want to use Don Bozo, but like, yeah. Definitely not going to happen. All right, so send out the, the dirty 30. Or the 30 dirty? No. Whatever the phrase of endearment you want to use. Even the smallest stars can shine bright in the galaxy until I come by and stomp on them. Wow. And you're left with no hope whatsoever. Look at the little birdie. Aw, so cute. So cute indeed. All right, so we got some Fido's. All right. One, two, three over here. Oh, Grimmsnarl. Uh-oh. This is going to be bad. It'll be real bad. Oh, I thought the game crashed. I'm like, whoa. What just happened? Why y'all floating? Y'all floating down here? Okay. There we go. That game literally, it just stopped. I literally, I thought that game crashed, dude. I thought this game was donezo. It, fr it, it stood there and it was like, it was contemplating how it should proceed with these circumstances set forth, you know? It's like, ah, do I even bother with today? You know? Whatever. Hit him with the one, two. The tinka tink over here. Yep, these are easy to deal with because obviously I got the level advantage and whatnot here. Look at this lag. It's not because I'm doing a bad job. It's because of, yep. There we go. How about a little bit more over here? How about this? You got something for me, y'all? No, you don't. How about y'all? Okay, so they spawn in like little chunks of three, obviously, so... None of these has taken me more than an extra three seconds to defeat. 
Oh, you know what I also haven't done? I haven't gone to each of those lighthouses that have appeared as uh, time has gone on here. So that might be something worth considering toward the end of the game here. Uh, climbing each of the three should probably have a, um, a nice... Oh, it's a nice pink mobile. We we'll probably have gimmick coins on top of them too. So they'd be good at advantage points to visit. Especially now that I can go pretty much anywhere. You have a scepter. Hi. Boss of the fairy crew, Ortega. Ortega. Your fairy types are no match for my shadow ball. Talk about underwhelming. I was expecting someone, I don't know, I don't know, a little more beefy. Don't call me a beefy boy. That is not safe for work. Uh, you are named after a hot sauce. So, taco sauce? Hot sauce? Whatever. Azumaro is definitely not... Oh, it is a fairy type, actually. So, um, you could actually wipe me out in one shot. So, I promise I'll play nice, so don't blame me when the battle sends you blubbering back home. Uh, oh, it's only effective. This is going to be bad. Potentially bad. One shot, Azumaro, please. Ooh, that's going to be bad. Yep. Well, actually... Oopsie, did he just realize how unmatched you are? That probably happens when the effective tightness isn't quite lined up as it should be. Come on. Come on. There it is. Azumarill down for the count. Don't need to deal with the super effective moves anymore. Dash bun. Dash. Da, da, dash is bun. Dash bun. Sounds like something you would order at haagen -Dazs. Okay. Ooh, what type ring are you? A normal fairy type? Potentially? Well, it doesn't really matter. Crunch me like the croc I am. Ooh, super effective too, because I'm a ghost type. Yeah. That's going to be an issue. So I really have to heal Kabungus after this. The level difference is not high enough to warrant uh, power through. But I'm still getting... I'm getting through, just not powering through. Wigglytuff? That should actually be okay. Considering it is not... Probably going to have a super effective type move. Um, the Oh, it has no effect. Oh. Oh, the Gigaton Hammer has to come out now. Don't you know. All right. That's fine. Steel type against fairy is kind of weird, isn't it? Like, why in the real world would fairies be super effective against that? Not very effective at all. Galactic Yikes. Take a, take a nice taste of the metal. Katoin. Love that move. Love how quality has uh, kind of panned out throughout the playthrough. Been really cool. I've been trying to clear the sinuses less on camera because that's impolite. So I'm trying to mute every time I clear them sinuses. So pardon me if I accidentally mute for a second here. Mist swirled the battlefield. You got it. Uh, so that's super effective, but I can't use it twice in a row. So I'm going to go with Draining Kiss here. Give me a little smoochy car. Smoochy car sounds naughty. So, never again. Steel Roller. It's a steel and fairy type. What an absolutely abysmal matchup for you. Ruck, Ruck, Bok. Ruck, Bok, Starmobile. Super weird. Super, super weird. Taste my metal. Cut toy. Nice. Uh, don't affect me? Yes! Quabody cannot be confused. I actually didn't realize that about the, uh, the abilities there. That's pretty cool. Yeah, you can't use Gigaton Hammer twice in a row. All right, that's fine. Give me a smooch! And one more Gigaton Hammer should do the job. No problem at all. I can heal up from that. There we go. What a good matchup there. It's it's definitely something pertaining to the fridge over here, too. So, so I got the Hot Pockets fridge over here, right? So it's something where, like, it, it just dips for a second. And it somehow affects this. I don't know why. I have no idea. But that's fine. I defeated Taco Sauce of Team Star. Your car is broken down. You need to get your shocks replaced. And that uh, is going to take you a hot second to repair. Because, obviously, when you go to the auto body shop, they're not going to be able to take you right away. Because there's some sort of person that's keeping... Uh, anyways, whatever. A year and a half ago. What the heck? Your toy card didn't budge an inch, huh? 
The problem is clearly that we're not giving it enough juice. That's such a shame. I wanted to see the looks of our uh, bullies there. Uh, come, good fellow. Tis no time or occasion for melancholy. See, this is why people don't take you seriously. You say some dumb things, you know? Hey, don't insult what they say, all right? Let it be. When we started as Team Star, we didn't have anybody. If that hunk of junk doesn't move, get it moving. If we're short on juice, we got to crank up the power somehow. So they're trying to, like, start up the car? I'll get it done. Sure you will. You know, Mela shoots her mouth, out, mouth off at an awful, but she means well. She, it's at an awful time, I should say. And that stinks indeed. Yes. Well, I hate myself for losing, but I can't get over how awesome you are. Uh, not like I have a choice anyway, but here's the badge. Please give me this badge so I can stop dealing with this super laggy grass in the background. Starfall Street has been uh, acquired there. And Dazzling Gleam is mine, so I can teach that to uh, uh, Quabody, which is excellent. Young Master Ortega. Guess it's time for my piano lesson, huh? Different matter brought to me. There's somebody I'd like you to meet. It's your dad. He's a distant acquaintance of mine. My name's Clive. What's your business here? Let me tell you something. You're the son of a wealthy heir to the family of my team song. Okay. Whatever they're gonna do. Who else would guess right? School is all rainbows and butterflies these days. Why? What happened to him? It's a former director of the academy there. Uh, Mr. Harrington, about 18 months ago, the members of Team Star confronted the students who used to bully them. An altercation broke out between the groups. Um, there is an altercation that caused a scandal of hereunto. Okay. Sure. Students who had perpetrated the bullying there. No, I should not imagine. My uh, former deputy deleted all records of the incident you see. Wow. Interesting. This student declared that they would take all responsibility for my team's actions. No one told me that. I accepted the request and agreed not to take disciplinary action against Team Star. Then I signed 18 months of overseas study to the students who took responsibility for the team. Oh. So you had them return to the Galar region under the pretext of overseas study. Around that time, the former deputy director took it upon himself to erase all traces of the incident from the academy servers. This is more complicated than it needs to be. So that's why the current teachers were all brought in a year and a half ago. So they reformed the school because they weren't having it. There's no way I'm abandoning my friends and going to school without them, not after how far we've come. Your friends and Team Star mean a great deal to you. Isn't that obvious? They are my greatest treasure in the whole world. The treasure of friendship. Yay, the treasure of friendship. Yay, yay. That's great. Yay, friendship. Friendship and rainbows. Yay, yay. Where's this boss? That's what it sounds like, by the way. It's me. Did you claim our Ortega's gym badge I did? Or star badge, rather. So Ortega was the last. Can we can we stop with this? All five bosses have now been toppled with their pedestals. They'll leave Team Star before long now that they've lost their special positions. Interesting. Nice work out there, Brian. Is that Clive? Right? Yeah, it's me, Clive, man. Now about your reward, there's some LP for your phone. Twenty thousand that time, beautiful. Again, I haven't used it at all. Four kinds of TMs are available. Go ahead and get Brian his things. Lots of Pokemon materials. There's one thing left on the agenda. You must defeat the big boss and have Team Star disband for good. There's no need to search them out. The true identity of the big boss is me. Is the, oh, it's you. Oh, I could have never, I could have never thought of that ever. Oh my goodness. It's, it's Cas, it's Caso. It's Cas, oh my goodness. Wow, what a plot twist. Wow, what a plot twist. Oh my goodness, wow. Oh, I'll be waiting in the schoolyard for you after dark. It's gonna be the little deck one with glasses. Here we go. Cassiopeia was the boss of Team Star all the time. Just a revelation there. Your true identity, okay. Ooh, so, the Titan storyline. <laughs> I now wanna see that coming, huh? Clearly, 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 like, you know, this is fine, right? But like, you could have had a more interesting story, just like on the Titan storyline. Way more interesting than this. Way more interesting. Way less predictable. 
I like that a lot. This, as the kids say, is mid. I'm feeling a little mid on this one. Let me let me heal up real quick before going to challenge uh, little little Tommy over here. You know. All right, I'm here after dark. What do you got for me? Hi, Clive. Hi, Clive. Or or are you Cass Cassiopeia? Is it you? Sup, Brian? Uh, that's you. The name's Clive's, remember? Actually, no, it's time for me to bring this little performance to an end. It's my true identity. <laughs> oh, now that's kind of... <laughs> I thought it was... I thought it was a child. I thought it was a child. Oh, okay, all right. In truth, you know, as Clive, as none other than the, the director of Naranja Academy, Mr. Clavel. Okay. Regardless, there's still one more astonishing truth I must reveal to you. Yep, it's me all along. Okay. So, let's see why. When you heard Cassiopeia over the phone, that was actually my pre-recorded voice. I pulled it off using one of the gizmos, of course. Now you know I'm the big boss. It means there's one thing left to do. So, is the school corrupt? Is this like, like, are they trying to be like Pokemon? With Lord Voldemort and stuff, like, hey, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna take over the school. <laughs> right? Is that is that what, what's happening here? Is that what's happening? Because, like, it's kind of, you know, these kids are still playing in the schoolyard like nothing's wrong. With this battle, I'll bring Operation Starfall to an end. So, Operation Starfall was the thing to take over. I skipped through too much dialogue. Now I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. So, so Operation Starfall was put on by Clavel to take down Team Star, but now he's trying to stop Team... I mean, does it really matter? Like, not, 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 not really, but like, you know, why not, right? Any honors? Any snoozers, I should say. Kabungus is feeling a little, a little woozy. It might be a little bit of an issue, but that's okay. Oranguru is no issue. Big ol' big ol' thing here. And I'm up to level 69. That's nice. Okay. So Kabungus is asleep and Poltegeist is coming back out, which means a you're gonna be exactly it. That's it. So we were taking down Team Starfall. I'm sorry, Team Star, because they were brat kids. And this guy is leading this. I don't even know. I don't even know. So... It's knockoff, actually. Knockoff because you're a ghost type. Yes. Oh, ooh, that doesn't do any damage. Whoa! Oh. Oh. This is spicy. That's gonna hurt. Just kidding. Oh, it's just gonna burn me. That's okay. That's fine. Again, I, I re this this is a very big oversight. You can't see the Pokemon as you're battling with with Tinkaton here. It just it just doesn't happen. So that's that's not good. They should have had the hammer face more upright instead. That's weird. So the defense, you know why? Because the pot keeps breaking as you're destroying Poltegeist here. That makes a lot of sense, and I do like that. Okay. And then the Reflect also wore off as well. Yes, okay. So you're level 60, so this is actually a pretty decent uh, matchup here. I like that. Okay. The, uh, you know, if this Pokemon was only left-handed, then we would have been fine. Would have been totally good, but I guess not. Poltegeist is down. All right. Is this a full team of uh, five here? Maybe? Hurt by your own burn. Houndoom? It's the same thing that keeps happening again with the short... Shorting out here, sorry. Um, oh, this has to happen, right? Yeah. Because now, Don Bozo can listen to me. The big old, the big old Bozo. <laughs> Let me eat the sushi. Let me eat the sushi, right? There's no way you're winning this one, Bucky. Okay, there we go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, look how effective that is. Look how effective this is. Bye. Ho ho. <laughs> now, does he know how to terrestrialize? This is the big thing. This is the big thing. Um, ooh, Polly's up. Obama Snow. Obama Snow. Kabungus. 
So wake me up when it's all over. When I was around. I, again, I can't sing, but. All this time I was finding myself and I didn't know I was lost. Snow warning. Uh oh, we're gonna have some of those snow warnings in the North Shore of Boston, Massachusetts soon enough. Wake me up. Wake me up and I can't wait. I can come up with all sorts of songs for waking up. Save me, call my name and save me from my so wake me up. Feel like I can't wake up. Blizzard? That's a game company that makes subpar games nowadays. Wake up. Wake me up before you go, go. I could have used a potion long ago, go. Wake me up. For, we're gonna come out with a Christmas album next week at this rate, man. It's not too late. It's not too late. Silver bells. Silver bells. It's Christmas time in the city. Among us? Kabungus? Shlakangus? Rotundus? Amungus, Kabungus, and I see by you, holy one. <laughs> Amungus versus Kabungus. <laughs> the ultimate matchup, man. Ultimate matchup. <laughs> oh, man. The Kabungus versus Amungus. It's crazy, my guy. Crazy frog. When are you gonna terrestrialize for me, man? Next Pokemon? Quava. Quava Va? What is that? Quava, Quava, um. What is that? I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna stay. I think that I, Cassiopeia would be backed into it. Why, why Cassiopeia? We got it. We got to figure that out, man. Oh, this is going to be bad. 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 No, no. No, no. <laughs> no, no. No. Dancing. Oh. Oh, feel a little bit of the rhythm. It's a lot, a lot of that. <laughs> I'm a uh, man. I, I, I don't, I don't. I wouldn't resonate with that starter. You know, he's doing. He, it's like like TikTok dancing. That's why. Oh, he did. He did this. He was like, <laughs> bit of this. Whoa, whoa. All right. Oh, okay. All right. Whoa. This is a, this is a, this is a, this is content for all ages. What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we, what are we, what are we, what are we doing here? All right. Come on now. Come on. Get it. Get it. You're so dramatic. You're so dramatic. Come on. With your speed being risen here. Come on. Oh. So if I get a heal, yeah. Oh, I gotta use a max. Dang. All right. So the next turn, I'll be good. I just happened to uh, uh, risk it with the. I, I didn't real. I forgot what its uh, name was, and I never encountered. Um, I, did I encounter the mid evolution? I don't think I did at any point in the journey quite yet. Oh my goodness! Relax. Oh my goodness. Hey, but you're paralyzed. Nice. No, Bobby, stay with me. Dang it, Bobby! Come on, stick with me. Yes! Yes! <laughs> get get that chimichanga dancing out of here! Quacks Quaval Quavo 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 Oh man. I, so it's like a peacock duck. I mean it's a cool character design, but lots of dancing here. Uh, uh Director Clavel is defeated. Nice. How strong you've grown! Like what did you think this was a you know what I mean? You know what I mean, man? Toad's Cool is evolving. I haven't even named Toad's Cool yet. Hey, look at that. Couldn't have predicted that one. Toad's Cool evolved into Toad's Cruel. 
Cool. Ooh, these Pokemon gather into groups and form colonies deeper than forests. They absolutely hate it when strangers approach it. Go ahead. That's fine. All right, so there's those two Pokemon. Nice. Uh, you know what? Actually, I didn't realize as you gather more Pokemon in the Pokedex, you get rewards. I haven't claimed them once. Didn't even realize it was a feature until I saw it online. Seems you've grown quite, quite splendidly over the course of your treasure hunt. And here we are once again. I must apologize. I am not Cassiopeia. Through Clive and myself, bring the same person was no lie, mind you. Cassiopeia's true identity remains hidden, but I believe I can hazard a guess as to who they might be. That's why I sought to spare you from having to confront them in battle. Their sorrow should not be your- What is going on? Settled on a course of action and is determined to see it through. I do not imagine any ordinary student could hope to stand against them in their will. So I challenge you to a battle to test your skill. But it turns out you are strong as you are kind. If anyone stands a chance at the poor child, it's surely you. It's the kid. It's the kid. Okay. It's quadruple plot twist here. What do you think you're doing? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No pleasure at all, Mr. Clavel. I come to investigate the reports of an illicit battle on school grounds. Uh-oh. You hear, like, the way she's doing this? Okay. Gotta write a letter of apology. What a... All right, so... Is that it? I'm, I'm, I want to keep going. I want to I get this over with. Not because I'm not, like, happy to do it, but, like, you know. It's just, uh... It's just whatever. Hey, uh... I'm not interested in classes, but... Never mind. Okay. We go into the... Maybe the top floor is the situation here. Top floor is schoolyard. Is it is that at the schoolyard? Or maybe the battle area? I don't know. Uh, you can go to classes in this game, which I believe enhance your abilities in some way, shape, or form. I told. Listen, this is not. See what I mean? Like this is. Uh, thanks for coming. Oh wow, wowie! Oh. <laughs> Oh, you're the bad, you're the enemy. Okay. Look at that. It's not a shock, literally at all. When I saw you make quick work of the team star lackeys outside the Okay, so Clavel Clavel is the one who told us to go to Team Starfall. And then this person Okay. The idea of Operation Starfall suddenly came to me. My skills let me get a hold of as much LP as I wanted to. Oh, so you hacked the money in. Okay. After the operation started, I kept an eye on you as a member of Supply Unit, and I had you battle my bosses on my behalf. All for the goal of defeating me and putting an end to Team Star once and for all. But there's a part of me that wants Team Star to live on. I can't just roll over and let you win without putting up a fight. I don't understand. I don't get it. Are you Clive? Yes. So it's after you. I mean, uh, no, because I'm still confused. I'm still low key confused about like. So Team Starfall, Clive wanted us to take down, or this kid wanted to take down because they were bullies. Okay. Here we go. This is uh, Penny of Team Star. Umbreon, that's a dark type. Kabungus with the ghost type, potentially. Oh, this could be bad for me, actually. I'll stay true to Team Star's code, sure you will. Ooh, ooh, level 62, looking good. All right, go for the torch song anyways. There we go. Just a little bit there, get the special attack up there. But because I have, yeah, I mean, you know, it happens. Uh, how about Shadow Ball? Survey says... No! Yeah, I figured that. Well, at least my special attack goes up. I can get you with one more Torch Song. I can get you with one more. Yeah, I can. Look at that. See? I know my Pokemon Pro Gamer moves. Because the special attack keeps going up, and that's great. 
exactly what I want. Uh, Vaporeon? Oh, I'm switching. You bet your bottom dollar I'm switching. Is it just all the Eevee? Seriously? Eh, that's boring. Apparently, like, the plot being as confusing as it is, Penny wanted to stop... Penny... Okay, I guess Penny wanted Team Star to stop fighting everyone in the school, but they wouldn't give up with the ranks, so she wanted you to defeat them because she knew that they would hold true to... That's, that, this is such a convoluted and... No, this is this is not not cool. This is not anything. Like, oh, I'm the leader of Team Star, but I wanted you to defeat my lackeys because they didn't stay true to the code and like whatever. Okay. This is it's like it's like you know young people politics of like, oh, I don't want the director to talk to you, but a friend of the director, and like you know I've been in high school and stuff, but still, it's like you know uh, I'm gonna switch to. Wait, who, who am I battling with? Flareon. Oh, okay. And I mean, it's not like I pay attention anyways, but, like, you know, I I, pay, I paid attention to the, um... Yeah, th this, this, um, this battle is kind of boring, too. Um, but the, the, uh, Titan battle, that plot was cool, because you got to see, like, you know, this guy, he's just trying to heal his Pokemon. And you got, like... In that final scene, I thought, like, that dog was, like, gonna die. Like, I thought that, that the boss tip was gone. Because, like, you know, sometimes in life you try to save your pet as much as you possibly can. But just because, you know, they they have something wrong with them or whatever. And then, like, it just it just doesn't work out. So I thought they were gonna go, like, real, like, oh my goodness. This thing's gonna, no, no matter what is here, nothing's working. Like, that's a very powerful storyline. But instead, here... It's like, oh, well, they're bullies, but they're not bullies, and then I want the I want the boss to talk to them, but not the actual boss. And it's like, this is a lot of drama. This is a lot of nonsense. And I get it. It's high school. It's, it's academy or whatever, but, like, it doesn't... It, I don't know. It's like, yeah, you gotta, you gotta fight my seven evil friends from high school. It's weird. All right, so clearly gonna go with uh, Toad's Cool. Toad's Cool here. Again, don't have a name for her, but eventually... Name for her, I believe. It's a female. So, I'll find a name for Toad's Cruel eventually. Probably before the finale of the game, which I believe is coming up soon enough, I guess. Uh, Earth Power. Definitely. Alright. So... Uh, uh, great. The attack fell. That's awesome. But... Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So, this battle is boring. Because every single enemy here, um, every single Eevee, Lucian, has a definitive type you can use against it. So, like, it's a one-type situation. So, it's not like some moves are super effective and some are not. It's like you can literally swap out and accommodate to every single circumstance here, right? So, Leafeon, it's like, okay, I'm gonna switch, and I'm gonna go to Kabugus, right? So, like, an Eevee Lucian battle is cool in the sense that you can battle all the Eevee in a row, and I don't think that happens that much, but, you know, it's still, it's just not, it, it's the same in every battle in that you're swapping out to accommodate to the circumstances, but at least you know for a fact that, um, you know, you're seeing, you're seeing progress, I guess. I don't know. Whatever. That's fine. Leafeon fainted. There we go. All right. Uh, level 70 there. Sylveon, I should have a dark type, which means... Or, yep. For Quabody. Cool, cool. Make this happen. It's literally just a dark type move over and over again, and then I'm good. Again, the shorting, I, I can hear it with my uh, fridge over here. It's happening. My apologies with that. All right. Mm. Yep. So, Sylveon could be a fairy type and then something else. So I'm going to go for the Gigaton Hammer because it's going to be definitely super effective. No, I'm sorry. It's going to be at least effective enough to do a ton of damage in one way. You can't even control the Terra Ball. You have no idea what the power of that thing is, man. So it is an enhanced fairy type. I like the, uh, the heart with the wings. That's kind of adorable. Okay. Use some baby doll eyes here. All right. If you say so. Get him out, boy. Oh, super effective on that one, too. Nope. I don't want to terrestrialize. 
literally haven't used terrestrialization once this entire game. Unless to show it off to all of you. Knock it off. Really? Well, at least I can do this again. That's it. And that is it. It's, you know, although this thing is adorable and it had the heart with the wings, you couldn't even see it because of the giant hammer anyway. So that's fine by me. And you're down. Penny of Team Star is defeated. Now, what's my reward? That's what I want to know. 15,000 money. Hey, how about you give me that uh, infinite bank account of money, too? That'd be kind of a little snazzy. What? It's finally over, guys. It's done. Okay. All right. Yep. You're done. It's all over. We're done here. I think we should call it quits. You say I'm to break up the team? Got carried away with Operation Starfall. I wonder if they're going to find out that this kid's just like an actual nerd, you know? All the bullies made a huge stink about what went down, and they all ended up leaving the academy. Our plan backfired epically. There's no way we're getting off scot-free. I'll fix this mess on my end. Just leave it to me. I'm the one who started Team Star. I dragged you all into this. I'm responsible for everything. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Didn't it backfire in the first place? It's like all the bullies left. So nobody's here to bully us anymore. So we're going to assemble this team for no reason. It's like, all right. Thanks for everything. You know what I think is keeping me um, not invested in this story is there's no voice acting. Or the voice acting is just kind of minimal. Or, uh, I don't know. It's the end for Team Star and me too. Why resort to something like Operation Starfall if you're the big boss of Team Star? Wasn't there any way to handle this? I tried telling the bosses they were done once before and they still didn't quit. Why not simply order them to? Our code states that no one in the team has the right to order people around. That's a dumb code. What? The order of our team is that no one takes orders. That does sound like a child did it. So you know what? It's fair. Let me ask you one more thing. What does Team Star know? What do your friends on the team mean to you? My friends mean everything to me. They're everything. They're my greatest treasure. Oh, you're finding the treasure, see? Oh, it's the treasure you're finding all along. It's the treasure of friendship. It's the treasure. You get it, everybody? It's the treasure of friendship. It's the treasure. It's the treasure of, see? Friendship. Friendship. Friendship with friendship was friendship was the treasure all along. It's the treasure all along. It's the treasure all along. Friendship. You're my superstar. You're making my wish, my dreams come true. It's a treasure. That is what you are. Honey, you're my golden star. It's gonna go. Big boss, it's time to see us. Oh boy, Momo. Oh man, okay. Okay. More like long time no meet, right? I guess we only found out your real name just now. Yep, yeah, you did. Melly. Uh, Verily is a long time hidden uh, counterance and a sight for sore eyes, my lady. Yep. Atticus. So I heard your real name is Penny. How you been this whole time? It's like, how, you, you put together this team. I'm not emotionally invested in this story. I'm just not. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. On the count of three. One, two. Hasta la vista, Cassiopeia, and hello, Penny. Oh, so they're still friends after this. It's like watching a soap opera with with Mima, and you try to you try to get in, and you're like you're not invested. On behalf of the academy, I have something I'd like to say to Team Star. You have my sincerest apologies. Come again. As director of the academy, I let you down. My handling of the situation was a complete and utter failure. Okay. Um. But now, know this peace was built on the backs of your hurt and anger, and of course your immense courage. Okay. Sure. Does that mean what I think it means? 
Indeed, Team Star can continue to exist, should that be your wish. I got nothing to say. You mean operate? <sighs> so this is. A do you think anybody who's like like a younger kid is gonna read all this? Do you think? Do you, do we live in that age? You know. Your reckless modification of jeopardous and driving Pokemon powered vehicles. You know, go on. Your flagrant disregard for school rules cannot be simply be overlooked. Oh, this guy's turning. Turning, turning back on all you. Yeah, you guys can exist. Just kidding. No, you can't. Good. Y'all be required to engage a community service. Good. And that stands for the Star Training Centers. They shall be facilities for cultivating Pokemon trainers' talent. Plan for the Academy to be found them in collaboration with the Pokemon League. That's kind of cool. So you can have each of these different bases that specialize in Pokemon training. As tests that are not gym battles, but can be more, um, you know, whatever for them. That's kind of cool. That's cool. We're already talking about how great it'd be to have both Team Star and the League on our side. Yeah. Uh, I think that sounds great. You go ahead. No need to give your response at this moment, Miss Penny. You should not break up Team Star at all. But simply exist, Master Brian. Please stop by my office later. Should I stop by the office right now? I'm going to stop by the office right this second. Okay. I haven't been back in this place for a long time. Let's see. Director's office. Yeah, there we go. I want to know what you give me. Is it a Quaxley? Let's see. Hi, Clavel. Meow, meow. There you are, Master Brian. Uh, if not for you, I sus would suspect none of the team grievances and justices would be punishment for their actions there. Knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door. Hello, Director. Um, I'd like to work on them together with the rest of Team Star. Excellent. Um, no, because of the other really bad thing I did. And what would that be? Hacking the money? You know the LP I gave you both in exchange for helping me with Operation Starfall? I got a hold of it illegally by hacking the Pokemon League's management system. That's awesome. That's awesome. It's just like cryptocurrency. It's a matter of, uh, out of our jurisdiction, I'm afraid. Have to consult Miss Gita and the Pokemon League chairwoman. Yikes. Galactic yikes. Okay. ra ta ta, -ta. Ryan. Cassiopeia. Could you come meet me in front of the schoolyard stairs? I'll be waiting. All right, sure. Meet up with Penny? Yeah, sure, why not? Penny is right down here. Cool. Penny, what could you possibly want now? Come out. Right here. Hi. How are you? You look to be looking very confidently at whatever. Don't look at the sun confidently. That's not good for your eyes. You fry your eyes out. Hasta la vista. The six of us caught up in the catchphrase back when we created the team. Um, it's kind of, it is, it is really cringe actually. Yeah. Uh, are you going to federal prison because you hacked crypt cryptocurrency? Because that's, uh, we literally, there's, there's people that go to jail for that. Like, there's literally billions of dollars in liquidity gone. So, like, I don't, you know, Tom Brady got tricked and everybody, you know, a lot of, a lot of people. Um, one more thing. Uh, I want to repay the debt I owe you. If you ever think of a way I can do that, let me know. Great with machines and hacking and stuff. I get what this could possibly be. So, be seeing you then. Hasta la vista. So, obviously, Scarlet and Violet, you have, um, Starfall Street complete. Cool. All complete there. Ready to go. There's obviously the, the, uh, older stuff and the newer technologies and stuff. So, hopefully, down the line, that'll be, uh, worthwhile. But until then, keep on meowing it out. And next up is the Pokemon League, baby. Pokemon League is right over here. You gotta climb up right over to here, and then that's it. Challenge Nimona probably one more time, and then get to there. I'll see you next time. Bye.